Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Apple iPhone 6. Before we take a look at the device and get it out of the package, let's talk about pricing and specifications. With regard to color options, you can go with silver, gold, or space gray. We'll be looking at the gold version today. And in terms of pricing, you're looking at $200 on a two-year agreement for the 16-gig version, $300 for the 64, and $400 for the 128, which is the version we'll be looking at today. If you decide to go unlocked, no two-year agreement, you're looking at $650, $750, and $850 for the three different capacities, respectively. Now, many will wonder what's the key difference between the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. Well, the iPhone 6 has a 4.7-inch 1334 by 750 resolution display, whereas the iPhone 6 Plus has a 5.5-inch 1920 by 1080 display. Uh, both, of course, are branded as Retina displays and are bigger and better than any iPhone before it. But in terms of which you want to go with, it really comes down to what you're comfortable with in the hand and the pocket. With regard to price, though, the Plus is more expensive. You're looking at three, four, and five hundred on contract. Again, same colors, same storage capacity. Off contract, seven fifty, eight fifty, and nine fifty. In terms of what's new, well, quite a bit. Uh, beyond the large display, which in my opinion is the biggest draw to the new generation of iPhone, you've got an A8 uh, processor, brand new one. 64-bit uh, chip, which is at least based on benchmarks right now, a very competent, if not one of the uh, best processors out there in the mobile business, complemented by one gig of RAM. Uh, you've got Bluetooth 4.0, Wi-Fi B, G, and N, and of course AC connectivity, most importantly. Uh, to boot, you also have GPS and NFC. Now, near-field communication is new to the iPhone. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, get ready to be, because uh, this is the beginning in many ways for NFC. Now, NFC has been around for a long time, uh, but in terms of application right now, I would say, at least for me personally, uh, the Wi-Fi NFC pairing process that many cameras have is one of the most useful areas of NFC, but that's for me personally. For different individuals, there are a wide variety of applications for near-field communication tags and programming basically your phone to do different things, go through different processes. So Apple's going to welcome that uh, finally, which is a great thing. Uh, with regard to the cameras, you also have significant upgrades. You now have an 8 megapixel uh, EyeSight camera on the back of the device, a 1.2 megapixel camera for your selfies on the front end. And in terms of other things you should know, uh, essentially everything has been tweaked in iOS 8. Uh, optimized for this new version for the most part of the device uh, lineup because traditionally an iPhone has always been a small device in the world of smartphones, of course, outside of its original launch. Uh, so this is a really big change. Uh, Apple stepping into the phablet world with the 5.5-inch uh, Plus, but here in the iPhone 6, they have, in my opinion, the more pocket-friendly and more hand-friendly, palm-friendly, device without question. And with regard to the actual redesign, you can see that not only did the device get larger, but they really had to make a thin phone. The power button moved to the right hand side of the device right there, and a volume rocker is on the left. The home button is exactly where it has always been, but the key again is that even with this increase in screen size, both in the 6 and 6 Plus, Apple still has made a very thin lightweight yet well-built phone that will sell incredibly well. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.